morning everyone it's Mish here and today I thought that uh, we could work a little bit in Daphne's diary blue book journal um, so uh, if you've been following along we have uh, created uh, quite a few pages already um, and I am typically using just what I can find in the in the magazine I am adding some background or some cardstock because there's not a lot of background papers. I only have two issues right now. Um, and I may from time, time to time include something else. So I'm trying to focus on what I can do uh, with, with the magazine. So if, if you haven't seen um, the previous videos, uh, please check them out. Um, but today I've already put the background paper on. I think we'll be working uh, on this uh, on this page. I've left the signatures like uh, this for now, so you can slide the pages in and out just in case I want to rearrange something. Um, but once it it kind of gets to be where I want it uh, to be, then I'm just going to sew, uh, sew them in. But for now, that's that's what we're doing. Um, so I thought I was when I started out those last couple days, I thought I would do um, a snippet roll and. Um, kind of work on on that because uh, I think snip, snippet rolls can be really fun but then I kind of thought I and then what I was going to use the snippet roll for is uh, a belly band and then have the rest of it for something else um, but as I got kind of cutting away and I got out all kinds of my punches and just went through um, the various pages cutting out different shapes so we've got scalloped hearts and hearts all kinds of circles um, my tab punch, so I tab. I uh, got a punch of a uh, punch of a bunch of tabs. Um, my stamp punch, uh, tag. Um, so yeah, so all kinds of bits and bobs, and um, so then I started. I, I had already cut out my focal images, and the way I store those is I just have some. Um, some little plastic envelopes that I just keep certain images in as I'm using the magazine and cutting bits and, and pieces out. And then I have larger ones for, for the bigger uh, images and background papers and stuff. And then um, I've always done this, uh, but I, I keep a tray of all the long bits so that I can use them for making clusters and, and stuff like that. And then I have them all just in a plastic tray. So um, with all the bits and bobs, I just started creating uh, just little focal points, I guess, or little clusters that we could add to the belly band. So I'm just going to set this aside for right now and just kind of focus on uh, the belly band. I am going to put down um, a bit of I think some deli paper just so that... It doesn't really, if I'm going to be gluing, it doesn't stick to the desktop. I was going to put down my glass mat, but there's just too, uh, too much of a glare. Um, so I started also, I wanted to, I knew I wanted to put some ribbon on here. And I had this really nice lace ribbon that I got. I think I got, I got at the dollar store. It says $2, so I think I must have picked it up at the dollar store. Um, but I, I wanted it more, um, I wanted it stiffer. So I took... Um, some of the the stiff and stuff and just sprayed a bit on and it it definitely does uh, the trick like there's there's no bend to that at all as opposed to um, you know when it's when it's off the roll it's it's really floppy so I thought we would start uh, with that and my idea for this is that I'd like to I'd like to hang something I think I like to hang something off it, a little dangle or something. I have a couple ideas. Actually, I've got one already done. So, um, so I'm just gonna put those, kind of eyeball it, or you can if you want to be more precise. This is a eight and a eight and a quarter. So if that's at kind of two two and a half, and we come up from the bottom. <laughs> that's almost exactly um that we'll put them right uh, right right about there i am going to use uh fabri i think i might have said that already my nozzle 
I've already cleaned it out, but it is so hard right now to squeeze that bottle. You know, if you guys use uh, Fabri-Tac, do you find the same thing? Just a little bit more. And I've cut the nozzle a little bit bigger. And I see people who use it on other videos, and it just seems to flow out just really nicely. And I can't really get that effect. So we're going to just put that down. Okay, and then get this one down roughly around this spot. I've been crafting the last few days. I've I've been off work. I've been off from work. I've my days off, but we've had some horrifying flooding. You know, Nova Scotia has just been hit hard this last little while. We had our forest uh, fires at the end of May. Now, you know, the middle of July, we're having unprecedented flooding and torrential thunderstorms. Um, it's just crazy times, I'm telling you. Um, okay, so we got those down. And then I just want to do maybe three little clusters. And that's kind of what a snippet roll, it, the, the function of a, snip, a snippet roll is, is that you just take a, a strip of, of paper, doesn't matter any kind of paper, and then really you take your ephemera, bits and bobs, uh, shapes and you just make kind of clusters that you can use. You can cut it off for a belly band or make a tuck spot. Uh, you can use it um, on top of ephemera, top of a pocket. Um, you could take a bit off if you were making a little baggie of of um, items like um, what, what we did with the, the hama or per perler beads and make a topper. You know, there's so, so many things you can do with a snippet roll. Um, but for today, I think we'll focus just on, on this bit. Um, so I wanted to kind of get a little bit more down in the backgrounds. So I'm going to go down. I'm just going to use normal Elmer's glue for this because you, you just really, it's paper on paper, so you don't need, I don't feel you need a Fabri-Tac. So I'm just going to put little circles in there. And these, I just, again, cut, just took my punches and stuff and cut it out of, cut out of the magazine. I'm fortunate because for these two issues, I do have two of them. The first one, um, it was before my subscription started, um, and now I have a, a subscription. And it just happened that the first magazine of the subscription, which was issue um, four, and was damaged in the post. It came uh, all ripped. So... I contacted the people. So in, in U.S. and Canada, um, the magazine is sent. I must be sent from, I think it's printed in the Netherlands. It must be sent in bulk to Express Mag, and then Express Mag mails it out uh, from their uh, depot. Um, so I contacted Ex Ex Express Mag and just said, you know, it, it was ripped and damaged. They only sent it in this little flimsy um clear plastic baggie and of course it's going to get damaged so and anyways they sent me another one which i just received so i'm thinking kind of something like that so we'll put and oftentimes if i'm doing collage because snippet rolls franken pages all those things you know it's basically a fancy way of saying collage everything's collage it's just putting things together and random images and and um, pieces of ephemera, however you do collage. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so when I'm putting down the I items, I often leave room around the edges. Like I don't put it down completely, at least not to start with, because uh, you might want to tuck something in underneath. And with that one, you know what? I think I like it on top better. Yeah, I like that. So as far as our rainfall goes, it's rained almost biblical proportions late, lately in Nova Scotia. Um, but we received in 24 hours as much rain as we would receive in three months of summer months. So that's, that tells you that's a lot. Um, and yeah, so... So like with some of these images, I just took my little punch, I cut out like the background shape, 
and then I had different Im images. I went to those little strips I told you and made little um, banners. Uh, so then I just layered uh, butterflies, cut out flowers. I also have a little uh, leaf stamp um, punch. So I cut out some leaves. Um, for this one here, I just cut out three different size uh, circles and I crumpled them all up and then just glued a little button in the middle. Um, for this one here, I cut it a tag shape, but if you didn't have a punch, I mean, I really didn't need to use a punch. It's just because I, I had it. Um, then I just cut out the shape. I cut out some flowers. I had a little uh, sequin and a little uh, butterfly sequin, um, and then just put some, some floss on it, some embroidery floss. And so I think maybe like that. You don't have to get too fussy about it, but sometimes your eye, you know, it just is attracted to a certain, I think that's too much blue, certain colors and, and shapes and yeah, I like that better. Um, and there is this thing, the law of thirds, where you, where you kind of cut your, um, put your paper um, in thirds and then thirds again and you put focal points in different parts of the thirds um, but you know what sometimes you just look at something and maybe your eye naturally will, will do that I kind of want something along that edge now this may end up a complete disaster so what I sometimes do if I have some paper like that and I want to try out an edge is I just get a similar paper and try it on that before I ruin my image just to see how much it bleeds sometimes things uh, you'd be surprised at how much they bleed and I don't want too awful much I'm just gonna just gently kiss the kiss that side of the scallop so that kind of stands out a little bit or I could have um, instead of I should have punched this maybe out of uh, a more colorful paper but I was just using some of the off cuts of what I've already used and that just stands out a little bit more I don't know if you can see that I'm just using my fabric castell pit pen it's a brush marker and it's really it's really good because it's Pigment, pigment ink. Um, <laughs> sometimes I can't talk and concentrate at the same time. So I do like, um, I do want to really thank those people who have been coming back to my videos and leaving comments. Um, it does mean a lot. Um, if you do like this, this uh, video, please hit the like button and I'd love for you to subscribe. Um, and thanks to all those ones that who already have. Okay, so I've just come a little bit more onto the inside of the of the flower, and I don't know if it picks it up on the video, but it does really kind of set it off. So I'm thinking I want that little. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, and I'm really going to crunch up those sides. I want that to be a crunchy flower and then I just take the middle scrunch that up some more uh, if you didn't have circle punch you can just tear, tear these in roughly the shape of a circle or trace something onto okay I kind of like that better so we'll get this down and I'm okay if it over overlaps the lace a little bit. We'll get our flower down. Okay, and then for the bottom one, I think I'll do the same kind of, I'll kind of mirror the top and the bottom, um, which means that this one would go down first because I'm going to tuck underneath it. The little gems, I just they're actually nail gems. I think I got them on, on Amazon. And um, 
they're uh, just pulling them on here. Actually, I don't know where I put them. You just get them in a little kit, and I think they're for to put on the fingernails, but they work re really well um, on little items like the butterflies. And then I just use my quick, quickie glue pen, and I just kind of dot and then stick them on with the um, with either um, one of these. I don't even know what they're called. Jewel, jewel picker, um, or um, just a pair, pair of tweezers. The thing I find with the tweezers is oftentimes I go to pick it up and then it pings across the room. Um, okay, and then with my flower punch, just cut, cut out a few of these little um, flowers. You can stick on various places. Like there would be a good place. And the middle one, because the cluster is a little bit smaller, might want to put something else there. Maybe another little cut out flower. And I put a little tab on just on the side of that. It's probably not going to be that noticeable, but okay. And then I can add something to there later, something else, something, something. Um, so I have this wee little tag punch. I don't even know where I got it. Um, I think I've had it like a long, long time. Um, I used to live in the UK and I, I think I must have picked it up there. But I punched out a bunch of those and then I took uh, this, I think it's a 1 16th um, punch and I punched a wee little hole and then just put a bulb clip on that. So I thought maybe I could put that up here. Maybe on that side. Yeah. I can put this one up through this lace. And that's kind of why I wanted the lace a little bit stiffer. Is just so it can create a bit of an arm. So you can hang your, your dangle off of. Um, and the other thing I kind of did yesterday is I took my waxes. Um, I don't have a wax burner. It's on my list. But I keep all my kind of... Um, Stamp, stamping wax and, and stamps in this little box. So I went and found a couple colors that I thought might um, look good and I chose uh, the pink and this kind of copper color and I was just thinking that I could hang one of those off, off, off of there, maybe the other side, to offset uh, this little dangle. That would it look better down there. But yes, yeah, so I thought I'd use one, one of those and then just put a little uh, put a little hole in there and then just use uh, a little slip ring around the, through the top of the hole. get it through the hole. The side of the, oh there we go. The side's quite thick with the wax. So I just had to push it through there. Okay, and then we'll just hook it. Oops, hook it through here somehow. I might have to go to the top. Excuse me if my head gets in the way. Go through the top of the lace. Okay, and then just squeeze that closed and see what that looks like. We might need to, yeah, it's not too bad. So then we have a couple little dangly bits. Okay, so I think I'm ready to stick this on. So, and I just thought that that would look stunning. Okay, and I'm just going to take some glue and just put a little bit at the top. And I didn't want to make, I wanted to do this so that when we put the glue on, instead of um, making a little hinge or a little tab so that it sticks out, I wanted it to lie flat so that 
um, when you put things in, it's a little bit tighter so that it will hold things. If that looks straight, looks a little bit crooked. Does that look straight? And one and three quarters, one and three quarters. To me, it looks like it's a little bit off that way. It's a tad. Okay, so we'll let the we'll let the glue hold on that. And what I thought we could make to tuck under there is um, set this aside. Is uh, some postcards. So in the magazine, there was an article on Italy and Florence, and I was lucky enough um, to. I backpacked through some of Italy and I thought oh what we could do is we could send home some postcards um, and we could use um, as well with the postcards some of the stamps that we made in in one of the sessions some of these stamps here uh, but I thought they were a little bit too big just just for this article so or for this uh, picture so um, I got some other stamps that we can use so first I mounted the picture just on some just some cards, some white car, uh, card stock. And I have um, some stamps. Um, you could write it on, uh, but I do have the Tim Holtz uh, post postcard uh, stamps. So um, I'm just using some Ranger archival ink and in my um, stamp pad that should be archived. And um, this is the bigger image. I always stamp up first and then stamp off just to see how it's going to look. And then the secondary one looks like that. So you can decide, do you want it bolder or do you want it a little bit more faded? And I think I want it a little bit more faded because, um, you know, may, maybe this, maybe this uh, po postcard is, is, is an older, it's not inking up all the way. Uh, is an older uh, postcard. So just kind of try to, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, oh, that still came out dark. Um, and then for my stamps, just to wipe them off, I use just a, a baby wipe. It doesn't have to be anything special. And then I'm hoping that's right side up. And then on this one here, just another littler one. And then we'll get that up there on that side. Okay, and then I just took my fine liner. This is a Statler, and I'm just this is just a point a three, and just gonna put um, just a little line down there, and then. Just do that and just kind of do the same on this side. And then in the magazine, there was some handwriting um, telling what what the what the picture was. Um, so this one here is the Ponte Vecchio. I, I went across that, but um, I remember sitting there's a little concrete wall just just along the river. I just sat back and imagined it, you know, way back in time because it looks like the type of thing like London Bridge used to be, um, which just seems like something out of out of a hist out of a you know a history book. So we could put that there. It just says the Ponte Vecchio, and then this uh, is a symbol of Florence. Um, which is the, I think it's the, dom, the Domo, I think that's how you say it. And that's, it's very elaborate. So we can do that. And then I just happen to have um, just some low denominator. This is a five cent stamp and this is a 10 cent stamp. It does say Canada on it, um, but hey ho, you can't win them all. This is a little dragonfly. And I could lick the back of that, but I don't really want to. So we'll just tack that down. 
and I could cro cross out the Canada, but nobody's really going to know except you, you, you and me. Now th this uh, uh, postcard here, I've left it kind of ratty. I don't know if you can see around the edges because sometimes that happens in the post. I did initially think I would distress the edges a bit, but I didn't want to rip it or what whatnot. So I thought we'll just uh, stop there. Um, and then I thought about, well, I haven't really written the, the postcard yet, but I thought I'd cancel it anyway. Maybe it's a, uh, and then later I could write some, uh, and this says positive postage. So we could just do a cancellation on that. Yeah, so, so then we have a little bit of something that we can close that stamp here. I'll have it all over me. Um, that we can tuck into our into our belly band uh, once we oh we've, yeah. So we can stick it back in our book. I think it came out right here. And pop that back in. And that's our little uh, play for today. Okay, so um, just before we go, the video had skipped a bit um, and missed uh, just a couple little things. Um, but I did add um, a little bit of rivets uh, to the little flowers there and a little uh, sequence uh, sequin to the middle of the uh, the flowers there and it just adds a little bit of uh, bling I guess or um, just a little bit of sparkle um, so as always thanks so much for watching if you did like this please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed I would love for you to subscribe and I want to thank all those people who have who have subscribed um, and if you have a comment, please um, leave it and I will reply. And um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye for now.